Hello, this is Matt. I'm going to do a pre and post paint job for an easy go golf cart. This was a 2009, had a couple little blemishes, a little bit of scuff marks. And then the major one was in the back. Again, not critical, but it looks like somebody hit it. So what I've done is I've taken the lights out, taped off the bumper. We're gonna cover the wheels. And the main other thing was the roof. The roof is a tan. So what we've done is we've scraped it, sanded it, cleaned it. As you can tell, there's a little bit of scrapes. So hopefully the paint will take. I'm gonna use adhesive promoter so I'm going to hit basically I'm going to spend a whole can on the top and then the second can I'll do for the body it says that each can should cover 12 to 14 square feet so I'm going to spray again the whole top with one can including the underside and then I've taped it off here so that when I spray black I'm going to do bed liner all through the top and then it will come down to that line. So I will include the black bar in this roof and I'll include that up to that tape mark. So that'll be the first job. And then the second job I'll work on the body. I'm going to hit this with just some normal flat black normal paint just to conceal some of the rusted bolts. So my plan is to do that first then do the roof and then come back and do the body. But I just wanted to do a pre, and even with the body too, I've scraped it, sanded it. So I think it's ready and I'm excited. There's also, looks like, you know, some of the peelings gone here. So we can't hurt it and I'm hoping this improves the look. But I just wanted to give a preview of the work site first. So basically I'm just, I taped off to block any overspray. And on the floor, I have a blanket down and some cardboard. So I'm excited. It'll be a great project. So here's what the plan is. First, I've got two cans of the adhesive promoter. So I'm going to spray the top and the underside of the roof only, including the metal supports down to that line. Let that sit for, I think, 10 minutes. And then we start with the truck bed turbo 4x so it shoots a, a large 10 inch span so i plan to just hit the roof while that dries i'll go to the underside hit that with the first coat then go back to the top then the bottom and do that repeatedly i have four cans of this and more in route so I'm not worried about running out of paint, but I want to do a good job on the roof first. And if that works well, then I will pull off the plastic and do the bottom. But I wanted to protect everything underneath so I don't get a lot of overspray hitting the bottom. So I think we're good to go. I've got all this taped off. Headlights are out. I got the bumper taped off and I got cardboard sitting there. So really I hope that I can basically manage this pretty simply. And then the front with the cardboard lights are out and the wheels are covered. So really the base of it, I have the hood, which again has some marks on it. I have the base that covers the batteries and holds the seat. And then the underside on this is going to be the last thing I hit. I definitely want to hit this obviously, but... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the underside where the bags normally would go. I don't know if I'm going to leave that just the black plastic or I might just hit it with a quick, quick hit to make it clean.
right, round one is complete and it looks pretty good. So I was able to use four cans of the bed liner and it's not perfect. I'm going to actually get a couple more cans tomorrow to do some touch up some of the white that's shown through, you know, that I taped it off, but that's still showing. But overall, the texture is great. It was a little more difficult to paint just because at the end of the can, it would start spitting. So as you see, that was some over, you know, too much stuff there. So I might have to sand that a little bit and hit it again. I had some trouble back there, but overall, I'll say it was a success. You know, the overall look is good. You know, definitely not fine product, but, but overall I did okay. Hello, this is Matt, and this is the final product of the Turbo Bed Liner. We already had new wheels on there, but as you can see, it looks pretty good. And the main reason we did it was we wanted a black roof. That's what the modern carts are. We had the standard tan, so the roof looks good, has a nice texture, and the whole look of the cart is great. So I'd say at 10 feet, this thing looks sweet. But when you start getting close, you can definitely see where a little bit too much sprays there. But overall, the cart wasn't in perfect condition when we started. There was a blemish here that covered pretty well. I did end up painting this whole cubby area. Looks good. I painted the little tail lights. But all in all, we have a very nice, cool looking golf cart. So now the thought is we might put a little bobcat emblem there. Maybe a little hood ornament bobcat there. But all in all, I think it was pretty cool.